In this video, you will learn how to find distances between two points in space and find midpoints of line segments in the three-dimensional coordinate system. Thanks in advance for watching this video. If you liked this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and activate the bell. It is very important for the continuity of this channel. Many of the formulas established for the two-dimensional coordinate system can be extended to the three-dimensional coordinate system. Let's find the formula for the distance between two points in a three-dimensional coordinate system. We first locate points A and B in space. We need to find the distance D, written in capital letter here, between points A and B, represented by the line AB. Let B' prime be the point directly under B and A' prime be the point directly under A. We say that A' prime is the vertical projection of A onto the XY plane and B' prime is the vertical projection of B onto the XY plane. We now apply the Pythagorean theorem to find the distance between A prime and B prime. We now draw the distance between A prime and B prime parallel to the XY plane, passing through point A and A plane parallel to the XY plane passing through point B. We now apply the Pythagorean theorem again to find the distance between A and B. As you can see, the formula for the distance between two points in space is a natural extension of the formula for the distance between two points in the Cartesian plane. The distance formula states that the distance between two points in space is the square root of the sum of the squares of the differences between corresponding coordinates. Let's see how it works. Find the distance between the points. Substitute values directly into the distance formula. Let's see another example. If three points lie on a straight line, the longest distance measured should be equal to the sum of the two shorter distances. So, we find the distance between points A and B, B and C, and A and C. In order for the points to lie on a straight line, the sum of the two shortest distances must be equal to the longest distance. 
since the longest distance measured is not equal to the sum of the two shorter distances, these points do not lie on a straight line. To solve part B, we will do the same. Since the longest distance measured is equal to the sum of the two shorter distances, these points lie on a straight line. We now will see how to find midpoint formula in space. The midpoint of a line segment is a point that lies exactly half away between two points. It is the same distance from each end point of the straight line segment. Therefore, the distance between points A and B is two times the distance between points A and M, just as the distance between points A and B is two times the distance between points B and M. We start by adding the two sides of equalities and then divide by 2 on both sides. Algebra is a bit of a slog. We expand and collect like terms. And at last, we group them into squares to get the midpoint formula. Pay attention! The midpoint of the line segment joining points A and B is given by. In other words, to find the coordinates of the midpoint of the line segment, you add the x coordinates and divide by 2, add the y coordinates and divide by 2, and add the z coordinates and divide by 2. Let's see how it works. Find the midpoint of the line segment joining points A and B. To determine the midpoint, you add both x, y and z values separately, and then divide each result by 2. The new values form the coordinates of the midpoint.
The equation of a sphere is similar to that of a circle but with an extra variable for the extra dimension. The equation of a circle is derived using the distance formula in two dimensions. In the same way, the equation of a sphere is based on the three-dimensional formula for distance. The sphere of a radius R with center C consists of all points P located at a distance R from C. Using the distance formula, this condition can be written as by squaring each side of this equation, you obtain the standard equation of a sphere. The standard equation of the sphere in R3 of radius R centered at C is given by In particular, if the center is the origin, then an equation of the sphere is Let's see how it works. We use the standard form of the equation of a sphere to find the radius r of the sphere. Take the formula and plug the coordinates of these two points into our sphere equation. Now that we know the radius square, we write the standard form of the equation of the sphere by substituting the coordinates of the center and by substituting the radius square by 30. Let's see another example. We know that the midpoint of the diameter is the center of the sphere. We now proceed as in the previous example. Let's see another example. To solve part A, we should note that if the sphere touches the xy plane, the center of the sphere must lie 3 units above the xy plane and its radius is the distance from its center to the xy plane namely 3 therefore the equation is given as follows the figure illustrates part a To solve part B, first of all, we find the equation of the sphere. The trace of a surface is the intersection of a surface with one of the three coordinates planes. To find the XZ trace of this surface, we use the fact that every point in the xz plane has a y coordinate of 0. By substituting into the original equation, the resulting equation will represent the intersection of the surface with the xz plane. We can see that the xz trace is a circle of radius square root of 21. The figure illustrates part B.